Hello again, fishy friends. So in this video, we will talk about what a fully cycled tank is and the frequently asked questions about the process. Now, this stage of the hobby is rather technical, so I will try to explain it in the simplest way possible. Also known as the nitrogen cycled tank, a fully cycled tank is almost the total opposite of a fish friendly tank. A fully cycled tank is a tank system that has already established enough amount of beneficial bacteria, particularly in our filter media. Again, these beneficial bacteria are the ones that will defend our fish against harmful elements like ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates. Also remember that tank cycling is absolutely different from circulating tank water. Tank cycling is a process wherein there is an end result, whereas circulating tank water is basically having the water circulate in the tank system through the use of a water pump. There are two processes that fish keepers follow when cycling their tank systems. These are fishless cycling and cycling using test fish. Fish that are known to be hardy and can tolerate an environment which does not have a beneficial bacteria colony yet. So a fishless cycle from the name itself is a procedure wherein the tank system is cycled without using any so-called test fish. In this method, what we need is an ammonia source. We can use fish flakes, fish pellets, or non-live fish food like shrimp, squid, or any small fish that we normally feed our monsters and let it rot in the tank. In my case, I will be using squid heads as ammonia source. Just like what I said, the rotten food will serve as your beneficial bacteria starter. When the fish food begins to rot, it will produce ammonia, which will be converted into nitrites, then into nitrates. Simultaneously, this is also the time when beneficial bacteria start to colonize and reproduce in your filter media. So in short, when there is a presence of ammonia, the cycling begins. The second method of tank cycling is by using test fish. This is the common thing we see when there are a few feeder fish in a new tank. This is usually done after chlorine has been eliminated from the water used for the new tank, either through circulation of water for a few days or using anti-chlorine solution or water conditioner to speed up the elimination of chlorine from the water. Tank cycling with test fish and fishless cycle, although opposites in terms of method, ultimately have the same aim. It is to produce waste, which will then turn into ammonia, so the waste is now your ammonia source. To be honest, we can use any fish at this stage of cycling. I even mentioned a while ago that my arowana served as the starter of my cycling method when I was still new to the hobby. However, feeder fish is among the top choices because first, feeder fish are cheap, so it won't cut your pocket deep if in case they die. Second is that feeder fish are known as poop machines, which is perfect as ammonia source. As to how long you need to cycle, hobbyists all have a different take on this. Some claim that cycling ends after 4 weeks, while there are some who wait until the 8th week. However, my take on this is that it all depends on the result of your tests. Using a test kit, 
perform a series of testing the water parameters of your newly established tank system. This, for me, is the only way to be sure that your tank is ready to house your pet fish. Like what I discussed in the first part of this video, a fully cycled tank has a sufficient amount of beneficial bacteria. Again, beneficial bacteria are the army of our fish tank. They are responsible for keeping our tank water clean. So without them, it will just take a short time before our fish starts to feel unhappy or worse, feel sick or even die. Think about it. Would you rather live in a polluted environment or live in a place that is pollution-free where you can breathe fresh air? Which place do you think you'd benefit from? So there you have it guys, my definition of a fully cycled tank. I hope that you found the video informative and I also hope that you were able to pick some ideas on how to properly start with your tank cycling process. Please click on like and subscribe to my channel because there are more informative fishy videos to come. Also, please do not forget to hit on the notification bell for you to get an update every time I upload a new video. You may also use the comment section below the video for questions, suggestions, and feedbacks. Happy fish keeping everyone!